This is the thumb. This is a smashed thumb, or I just colored it in with a Sharpie for dramatic effect. You choose. The way that I was always taught to handle this problem is to do this with a needle, safety pin, whatever you have. And I'm sure some of you have seen the same method or a lot of you have actually done it, where you take a safety pin or needle, then you take a lighter, and you heat it up, and you heat this all the way until it's just red hot. Then what we do, once we've heated this up until it's red hot, we then take it and just insert it into our nail, um, pushing down on it, and then eventually it'll pop through and blood squirts everywhere. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? You're inserting a red hot piece of metal into a protective layer of your skin. Seems like an excellent plan. Um, I'm here to show you a better way to do it. Something that I learned a long time ago. This is a uh, 1 16th inch drill bit. Okay, This is the smallest drill bit that comes in most drill bit sets. Um, this is the one that it's just the tiny one. Nobody ever wants to use it for anything. And then I took some tape and just wrapped it around there just so that way it doesn't get lost um, in the... Uh, kit that it's in or in the box, whatever the case may be. So, what we do here is first we remove the tape, and by the way, doing this, um, this will work on any finger, any thumb, I mean you can do it with either hand, whatever the case may be. Um, this is much faster, it's much easier, and it's so much safer to do it this way. Uh, you don't also have that um, anticipation of when you're sitting here, and, you know, when you're not sure if you're going to push all the way through or whatever the case may be. So what happens is we take this drill bit like so. Let me get this in the middle here. And basically we just set this here. And it takes a second to get it just right. But kind of hold the end of the bit and just work it. Uh, back and forth and it doesn't take long once you get this done right um, you'll see it'll start to dig in there pretty good um, happens pretty quick now obviously before you're doing this so you can see right there just that little bit um, there's already a pretty decent divot in my thumbnail but what we did there is you just hold this and just literally twist it back and forth and as you do that, um, this bit will just work its way in. Now, if you had to do it on your other hand, it's, you know, it's, it's the same thing on a hand or on a finger. Um, but obviously, before you do this, like I said, you're going to want to either dip this into peroxide or rubbing alcohol. I mean, in a pinch, I, this kind of defeats the purpose. But, I mean, in an absolute worst case, you could heat this. Um, I mean, you could uh, melt the germs off. I would just tell you, it's it's always a good idea to be as sanitary as possible. So I would recommend putting this in some kind of alcohol or peroxide regardless. Um, if you ever have to do this to someone else, if, I don't know, if you have like a, a queasy friend that just can't do it to themselves, or if you have um, a small child or something like that, you know, I mean, you have to remember you're coming at them with a needle that's red hot and saying, hold on, let me just stab this in your finger. Um... I can assure you, using the drill bit is so much easier, and it'll be a lot less of a, um, you'll get a lot less um, resistance from it. So, and if you just show them how to do it, chances are they'll be willing to do it to themselves. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like it, subscribe to it, and we'll see you on the next one.